Hey everyone, it's Eccentric Mo here. Um, I'm out of town right now, as you can see. I'm in a hotel room, but I had a little bit of downtime and just wanted to make a video about my top surgery consultations and what doctors I went with and why. All right, so I live in Northern Illinois, so this would probably help people living in the Midwest more, but it's still good information to have because I know there are people who fly across the country for top surgery. But okay, I looked at two different surgeons in my area. Okay, so the first surgeon I want to talk about is Dr. Steinwald. And I heard about Dr. Steinwald actually from watching YouTube videos of other trans guys. And it was just a real quick video I found on YouTube of a, of a top surgery update. And, you know, the guy's chest looked good. And he said he had full sensitivity in his chest. And I was like... I'm going to check out that guy. So I went to the website of the doctor, Dr. Steinwald from Lake Forest Plastics in Lake Forest, Illinois. Um, and the site had a lot of information. It had all of the FTM top surgery information right there on the website, so I didn't have to like email people and try to dig out information or make any phone calls. It was all right up on the site. It talked about the doctor being a pioneer in the field, kind of. He developed his own methods. And... Um, the site also had results pictures right on it too, so I could sit there and just browse and look at his results. And you could see that they that he had done surgery on guys of all sorts of different shapes and sizes, so that was good. Um, so yeah, I right away was like, okay, I'm checking. I'm gonna check this guy out. So I called and I set up a consultation. Uh, the cost of the consultation was seventy five dollars. Um, the staff didn't really use. I mean, you know, I filled out the papers with my legal name on it and I, I didn't correct the staff because I mean it was like it was, the name is legally that and it's going to be changed that in a month and I just kind of didn't really care so they didn't really use names or pronouns that I would prefer but the doctor did so that mattered to me more <laughs> um, which I mean I didn't even correct them and if I had they probably would have so you know whatever um, so, okay, so I have this consultation with Dr. Steinwald, and, you know, you have to go and take off your top and everything, and your stuff is just kind of hanging out, and immediately <laughs> he was very straight to the point and technical. He was just ripping out, like, a, a tape measure and measuring things and pulling and tugging and lifting and measuring more and then scribbling notes in his journal, and it was just, he seemed totally eccentric, and as a creative person, I actually really liked that because he seemed very passionate about what he was doing and very technical and it just made him seem really intelligent and I don't know I just had a lot of confidence in him as a doctor and his ability to perform it just by what I have seen on his site and his mannerisms and uh, yeah so I was really impressed by Dr. Steinwald. Oh. All right then I'm going to talk about Dr. Stein who is a I know their names are similar but try to keep 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 up here. Okay, so Dr. Stein, I met up in his Arlington Heights office in Illinois. Um, he had a couple different locations he went to, though, so that wasn't the only one. Uh, and he was very nice, compassionate, and comforting, and it, both him and his staff were really careful, you know, what do you want us to call you, how do you want us to refer to you, and it was really nice, I kind of felt like I was being treated like extra special and being handheld, which I don't, I don't really care for. Maybe some guys really appreciate stuff like that. I mean, I appreciated it, but that wasn't going to sell me on paying him for surgery, you know. Consultation was really just kind of like he talked with me a bit and kind of asked about my background as a trans person because neither of these doctors required a letter, a letter from a therapist or anything before the surgery. So anyway, so he asked me about it, um, kind of looked at my chest and briefly like grabbed you know, my chest, and then was just kind of like, oh, you're a good candidate. But he mentioned he hadn't done anyone my size before, and they also didn't have results pictures with them. And I, I don't, I'm assuming that was just an accident. They were supposed to have them with it, and it was just forgotten. But then I had to kind of like dig and ask, and like, can you mail me pictures of results? Like, how can I see the results? Since I couldn't see them at the consultation, and they're not online. Um, so while Dr. Steinwald was well, while Dr. Stein was very nice, I was really way more impressed by Dr. Steinwald. Uh, another thing that that contributed to my decision was that Dr. Steinwald 
does his surgery at the Lake Forest Hospital, and Dr. Stein performs the surgery at a surgical center. And I don't know, I just would kind of rather be in a hospital in case something were to go terribly wrong. There's, you know, the whatever, it's like the critical care uh, trauma center. I think that's the word I'm looking for. And I did have my top surgery already, so I do plan on posting a post-op video with my chest. I'm, I'm not going to do that now because I don't have the time for that. But Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention is when I reached out to the FTM community about either of the doctors, you know, before I made my decision, I just wanted to ask other FTMs what their experiences with these doctors were. And what I kind of got back was that Dr. Stein required more revisions in order to get good results. And most of the guys who went with Dr. Stein wished they had gone with Dr. Steinwald. So I said neither of these doctors require a letter from a therapist before performing top surgery. I just want to clarify that I don't think that is out of carelessness. They said that they used to require letter letters from therapists and then realized it was an unnecessary precaution over the years because they never had people coming back with regret and saying that it was a problem of any sort. So they just stopped requiring it. Um, I'm really happy with my surgery so far, but I'm only a couple weeks out, but I will make, I'll talk about that in another video. So I just wanted to put that information out there so people could be aware of, you know, when some more doctors in the Midwest. I feel like people only really talk about, you know, California and Florida when they talk about doctors for top surgery, but that's not the only option, and um, Dr. Steinwald seems like he is really good at what he does and passionate about it and not afraid to put the fact that he does this kind of surgery out there on a site for everyone to see, so anyway, that made me really happy, and um, okay, there's just one more thing I want to mention before I post this video. All right, there's one more thing I want to mention before I post this video, and that was when I saw Dr. Stein, he flat out told me I would lose sensitivity in my chest. And when I saw Dr. Steinwald, he said that the sensation would be something like three to four out of five. So, and I, I asked the FTM community about that too, and they told me that guys who had, doc, uh, had top surgery with Dr. Stein did get some sensitivity back, but it took a year or two, um, and I don't know specifically how they compare long-term over another. I don't know why he would have flat out just told me I was going to lose sensitivity if I would slowly get it back, but obviously Dr. Steinwald had more confidence in his technique and perhaps sooner results, so, but either way that played a, a big part in my decision because I would really like to have sensitivity there. <laughs> Alright, I think that just about covers it. Uh, if there's any other questions out there about my choice in doctor or my consultations, feel free to ask. Um, I'm going to go make some more videos now, so take care.